Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And we have a special guest here. This young man is, has done a terrific job with the Prince George's Suite magazine. I tell you, he has brought, not only that, he has in, introduced and mentoring a young man here, Mr. Stoudemire, and the editor of the Suite magazine, Raul Dennis. Dennis, welcome to the Ed Brown Show. It's He's good to be doing here. doing a terrific job. I mean, this is what we need. I try to tell people, communications is number one, and you have it. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, it's been busy, Ed. Thank you, first of all, for having us on again. Um, you are by far one of the most uh, fascinating and strongest supporters of what we're trying to accomplish with Prince George's Sweet Magazine and media, and I really appreciate it. Um, what we're doing lately is very interesting um, with uh, some of the things that are developing. We're moving more toward an interactive multimedia format, and we're happy to say that the county executive, uh, Rashern Baker, is our cover story for that first interactive multimedia no edition. Kidding. Let's, you and have so an I'm pretty excited there? about that. Oh yeah, we have it right here. Yeah. Boom, boom, right. Boom. Uh, okay. We're pretty proud of it. Um, Hold it up. The edition is part of our, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> this, this edition is on stands now, actually. Mm -hmm. It's with, um, at Wegmans, mm -hmm. and uh, we're pretty proud of it. It winds up being um, our step and foray mm -hmm. into uh, obviously 21st century multimedia in storytelling so that readers and subscribers will get the story in print, obviously, but you can also get it online. And there is a video interview with the county executive that's fairly exclusive in terms of some of the groundbreaking things that his administration um, has developed. So we're pretty proud of it because the tie-in, of course, is to bring video uh, platforms together with web platforms along with print so that we have an opportunity for our audiences, no matter where they are, no matter what demographic uh, pool they set, settle in, they're able to, to glean a bit of what is happening in Prince George's County, and we're pretty excited about that. You know, there's so many things happening now, and so many things coming in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about the hospital, we're talking about FBI, we're talking about so many things MGM. that mm -hmm. uh, are really are developing mm -hmm. in, in Prince George County that the, uh, people need to know about and mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. See, all, all these, although these things are here, you know, we we have to get into the business mm -hmm. world too. Mm -hmm. You know, along with the, uh, these different items coming in here comes new business. Absolutely. And and, and Prince Absolutely. George County, uh, all of you out there, you got to here's your opportunity. You've been complaining, we're going to bring, with these projects, going to bring all sorts of businesses to Prince George County and <laughs> probably cut some of your taxes. I know you like that. That sounds good. <laughs> so, oh. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, when, when you talk about um, opportunity and development coming to Prince George's County, um, we're very excited. You're looking at about five to seven billion with a B uh, mm -hmm. coming into Prince George's County when you consider what's failure, you consider MGM, uh, considering again the, the hot regional hospital that's coming here. And of course, we're very excited about the possibility of uh, the FBI headquarters being uh, centered here. So there is so much happening. And um, uh, my good friend Gwen McCall, and of course the uh, county, county executive, are sort of spearheading a lot of this development mm -hmm. that will obviously raise all boats give, yeah. uh, bring great uh, jobs to the county, bring, bring great opportunity. And um, I'm really excited about that. And we, we're pretty certain that um, between now and the end of next year, people should start to see some of these developments come to life. Yeah. Hey, w what about Mr. Stoudemire here? I'm very impressed. You know how I, I have interns in my program, and uh, we mentoring you know, young people, get them involved in the business world. And, and you just started off already. Uh, tell us about Mr. Stoudemire, and then we'll have some questions for him. Well, I'm happy for him to uh, certainly speak for himself, certainly. But, um, you know, we're, we've always been committed to um, elevating Prince George's County. And we've always been interested in spotlighting and showcasing the best of. And so you can't just talk about that. You kind of have to walk right. that walk, right. don't you? That's why we and so in it, that vein and in that spirit, um, it's uh, very important to us 
to not only give opportunity to young people who show promise and uh, who are clearly dedicated in what they're already doing, but it's cr critical to us to be prepared to pass the baton at some point and um, give people a chance so that when they come out of school, mm -hmm. uh, they're able to uh, sort of hit the ground running with a yes. certain amount of experience right. and expertise. Um, Mr. Stoudemire is one of the finest young men that I've met um, in a while. He's um, quite capable as a student at Prince George's Community College now. And um, I'm quite impressed with his abilities on the creative side as well as on the anal analytical side and, and uh, development. And I believe that he's going to be an, an incredible professional. Great. Here. Mr. Stoudemire, tell us, how did you get involved with Mr. Uh, Dennis here? Oh, well, thank you for having me. Uh, basically, it was, I believe, June of this year. Um, my aunt had mentioned uh, Mr. Dennis and what he was doing. He was running his magazine, and she mentioned that it would probably be a very nice opportunity for me to work under his company. So I took on her offer, and I just sent him a message to let him know that I am a uh, experienced photographer interested in working with him and so after a while he responded back and then uh, he put me on my first photography assignment. <laughs> what was that? Right. Uh, on June 14th it was I believe the conflict resolution mm. event uh, down in Hyattsville, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, back then, um, all I really had at the moment was one of those small point-and-shoot cameras. Uh -huh. So right. it didn't, wasn't anything really a professional grade. Uh -huh. But um, re um, regarding that, I was still able mm. to take uh, quality photos with mm. it. Because mm. basically, w when it does come, well, when it comes to taking photographs, mm. it's not so much the equipment you have, uh, but it's, it's the, the skill. Right, exactly. Right. That, that, that's what happened with right. me, you know. I was taking photos, and I, I was doing film, you know, and, and uh, I belonged to a photography club at the First Baptist Church there, mm -hmm. and they all laughed at me, you know. <laughs> but one thing about it, when I was doing the film, I had choice. Right. I mean, you only get right. one shot. Mm -hmm. With the digital, you can take five shots and say, well, out of the five, you get one. So, uh, like you say, individual interest and in, that's very important. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, because of course now having good equipment helps definitely. Mm, yeah, sure. But, yeah, but as I said, it really comes down to the individual and that person's uh, knowledge and skill level. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, w what are you plan to? How far are you going to take uh, Mr. Dennis's place later, right? Possibly. <laughs> 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 well. <laughs> so you got your replacement. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> but that, that's basically what we are trying to do here in Prince George is, is position young people exactly. into the business world. <laughs> exactly. And they right. have to right. realize, you know, right. uh, that that's what they have to do. They have to work in it, you know. And uh, our row who is doing an excellent job, and he's showing you, know, just like I told him, I said, hey, young people, they come out of school, they go to school, and no doors are mm -hmm. open for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. See, right. so, they, they, so what, they, what we have to do, you know, we have to provide these opportunities. Mm -hmm. The county exec is doing this, county council is doing that, by bringing all of these projects here in Prince George County. And right. we want young people to get right on them every last project mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. they bring in here make mm -hmm. sure that you apply mm -hmm. for a job on these projects because you are the future mm -hmm. okay? i agree definitely you know it, it is a, 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 for me a, a very sp uh, significant honor to sort of sit here with three generations of, mm -hmm. of folk who are involved in media. Right. And, um, and in, in speaking of that, I really want to take a, a moment, if I could, to note what we're doing with our, our next edition, which is very special. Um, we're very proud of the county executive, certainly, um, his Transforming Neighborhoods Initiative project. Um, that exclusive interview that um, it, we have online uh, is something that we ask everybody to take a quick look at. I think you're going to be very surprised at some of the things mm -hmm. he has to share. But Richard and Baker is a product too of generations right. and you know the passing of Wayne Curry yes. um, is, is part of that that discussion uh, Wayne Curry certainly was a mentor to uh, Mr. Baker right. and um, in, in a lot of ways uh, Wayne Curry is responsible for 
what we enjoy today you and know, what we call the team, modern development team, of Prince George's his, County. His particular team is dynamic. That's, Absolutely. That's, that's what makes it, you know, working together. And that's what we have Absolutely. to realize, working together. We are accomplish a lot of things when we do that yeah, yeah. right so we are putting together a tribute edition mm -hmm. uh, for in honor of mr. Wayne Curry and the work that he's done the legacy that he has left and of course a lot of the institutions that are here today uh, because of the great work that he did during his tenure mm -hmm. and even beyond that. So when you look at FedEx Field and you look at the, um, the Sports and Learning Complex mm -hmm. and some of the other great institutions that are uh, at a part of, of, of Prince George's County, including National Harbor, which people mm -hmm. don't always right. remember, but it was under his watch that National mm -hmm. Harbor sort of got, mm -hmm. uh, got started. So when you look at those kinds of institutions and that kind of legacy that he's left, uh, we're very proud to, um, to be developing this edition, mm -hmm. which will be um, uh, 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 in Life Magazine format. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of images, lots of commentary as to how he impacted people. And we're very excited about working on it because we realize it's a very unique mm -hmm. opportunity and a very unique responsibility to carry that kind of coverage on someone who left such a huge footprint. Well, uh, well, so we're the, very, very the, honored to the, be doing the this show. example, this is, uh, this is what we, ha we have to give the young people something to work with. Mm -hmm. you, you, you see what I mean? The experience that they've had in, uh, I say, the 60s and 70s, you know, when Prince George County wasn't uh, a, a place to be for anyone, mm -hmm. you know, that want <laughs> equality. But uh, due to the fact of the different teams and mm -hmm. generations, like you were saying, the different generations that have a they have put Prince George County on the map. On the map. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, not just financially, but uh, other ways too, mm -hmm. because we have young men like him, and we have other people that have dedicated themselves uh, to Prince George County. Uh, you, like you yourself. May not, you, you, mm -hmm. you may not hear their names, but they're out there, and they, and I, I salute individuals from the uh, 70s and the 60s and 80s and 90s mm -hmm. who provided this opportunity for the young people. The, uh, to have, be involved mm -hmm. in the development mm -hmm. of uh, Prince George County to the point that we're going to change the image of Prince George County. Mm -hmm. And the only way we can change is through your leadership because of the fact that people don't understand communications is number one. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to control your communication. In Prince George County, we don't control any communication. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, actually what you're doing is something that was started earlier, but uh, has progressed to the point that it's number one. Uh, tell us another thing. I like, uh, he, here you are, you're, you're bringing all this thing, and the, the new news about uh, uh, the gentleman that had, had a problem and everything, you have it on your, this poster that you have it. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, this piece is actually um, a project that we did um, several years ago. You are right. Um, it was part of what we were calling an, uh, the Our Town series, mm -hmm. where we went to, as you know, tw there are 27 municipalities in Prince George's right. County. It's a big place. And so in order for um, us to get the opportunity to talk about the different character in each of the municipalities, we started in the Our Town series. So mm -hmm. I believe that you're looking at Hyattsville, mm -hmm. uh, but we did something around Mount Rainier, we did something around Mitchellville and Laurel and so on, and to give a little bit of spotlight to each of those areas where uh, people get a sense of how many different types of personalities make up what we call Prince George's County. Prince George's you County. see, people should keep in mind, the suite is a general market publication. It's not a women's publication. It's not a black publication. It's general market. Right. And so it's our responsibility to kind of reflect the entire exactly. mosaic of Prince George's County. And uh, we, we take it on as a, a very serious task, but it can be uh, a bit daunting. So one of the ways that we were going about telling the story yes. of the county was to go to various, the, the different, uh, jurisdictions various towns and, and, and cities. And, and, and talk about the mm -hmm. things in Prince George County that made it great. Mm -hmm. and, and we're moving on because what we're doing, we're preparing the young people for the future. This is what we want. You know, the types of uh, businesses, the types of jobs. We want 
the young people to stay in Prince George County, mm -hmm. work in Prince George County, yeah, you, mm -hmm. you know, in order to give them something to want to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's your job, my job, and everyone else's job. They won't have to go anyone else, that they will have an opportunity here in uh, Prince George County. Well, you made it possible, and I, you, this is clear history, anybody can look it up, but um, some of the things that you did with print media um, in the 80s yeah. made it possible for us to do what we're doing now. Well, uh, that's what I expect. what we're trying to do is to sort of pass it along. That's what I expect from this young man and mm -hmm. the next young man that comes mm -hmm. along. I mm -hmm. expect them to carry the ball. You know, and what, what you're doing, you set an example. And my guests that come in, the first thing I want to know is uh, having young people come in. In media presenting, the thing I look at, I say, hey, look, uh, we're going to get some young people in, give them opportunity to perform. Mm -hmm. They don't have, the other media don't give them uh, opportunity to perform. Mm -hmm. you, you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. On this level, we, we can do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, giving them, encouraging young people to get into the business world. You've got a golden opportunity coming here with the development that uh, they have in the fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Trial by fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sink or swim, make it go. <laughs> yeah, ma ma make it go. And so this is, you, you give them a good example. You, you dealt with uh, the uh, total county. And I'm very uh, glad to hear you say you're dealing with the county, the total county. You're not mm -hmm. uh, 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 African-American publication. Mm -hmm. You're a Prince George's County. Right. A publication mm -hmm. and the things that you're doing you're bringing forth the things to let people know hey we got to work together mm -hmm. if we're going to maintain the quality of life for the future mm -hmm. for your grandchildren for your grandchildren yeah mm -hmm. right see that, that's so very important okay tell them a little bit more about your uh, what are you going to do coming up in the future well, in addition to what we're working on with the Wayne Curry tribute, which we uh, are very excited about, we're also doing more in terms of breaking into the digital foray, the, the formats that we want to move in. Um, we began with uh, being a, making the magazine available on the iStore, which was very exciting. But now we want to branch out and put the magazine onto three or four different digital newsstand platforms. That'll give people who are working with Android and everything else, an opportunity to get all, get to subscribe to the publication and be more user friendly to a greater number of, of potential subscribers. Um, another thing that we're very excited about is we want to upgrade the format. Mm -hmm. um, we believe that it's probably time to start telling stories um, that center not just on what's important specifically to Prince Georgians, but what's important to, to the region, what's important to, to basically human life, family development, mm -hmm. career development, things of that nature. And we believe that um, if people have those kinds of things as part of the, st of the storytelling in Prince George's County, then it makes, it helps to tie us to the region, to the nation, to right. the planet, of course, and vice versa, especially as you have more people who are becoming more interested in this area, mm -hmm. who are looking to uh, Prince George's as a destination, whether to live, work, or play. Uh, we want to make sure that we demonstrate that our quality of living is second to none right. and that our opportunities here are second to none. And so we want to tell some more stories that kind of broaden that scope. Yeah. Right. And I'm very excited about that too because again, that's where a number of young people come in. Yeah. That's where a lot of fresh and new blood come in. Yeah. And um, I can be very excited about yeah. that. Well, Mr. Donovan, tell, tell us, what, what do you think about the, the uh, a Sweet Magazine and, and the effects that it have on young people like you? Oh, well, I think it is an amazing publication, um, you know, especially after me reading through it. Um, I, I really love the focus on Prince George's County, and by the focus, I don't necessarily mean uh, just, you know, like all these, uh, the negative sides of what occurs, but I enjoy or um, appreciate how the magazine focuses on the positive side right. of Prince right. George's, you know, right. where it focuses on the great events and people right. within it. Because uh, or really when you look at the exposure, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, most of the uh, exposure that Prince George County has, been, has gotten in the past has been negative. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it makes a person not want to come to Prince George mm -hmm. County, the way that the media has segregated mm -hmm. 
the, the county as right. far as positive things that they're doing. And I think that's what people need to let them know. Mm -hmm. You know, Prince George County is positive for everybody. Mm -hmm. And that uh, what we have to do is stop the infighting and work together. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And see, that's, <laughs> that, that's the key. And young people like you, you, you're, 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 you are the future. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we have to understand that. And anyone, no matter what position they're in now, is that, hey, we have to start working with the future. And this is what uh, we want to do with this uh, uh, type of publication. Mm -hmm. We want to let the people know, you know, that we're going to work, everybody's going mm -hmm. to work together mm -hmm. uh, to make Prince George County uh, not just number one in the uh, uh, count in the state, right. number one in, in uh the uh, world. Exactly. We can do that. We have to, s way I feel, we have to set our goals high. We can't, mm -hmm. we can't be satisfied. Right. And, and what, what are the young people saying about uh, uh, the publication when you uh, uh, introduced it to them? What, what are they, they like it? Well, to uh, the individuals that I did give the magazine to, they actually seem to have a very, uh, positive mm -hmm. uh, review of it, actually. Because mm -hmm. uh, I remember passing it to a few people. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe they were ages maybe 16 or 18, around mm -hmm. that range, mm -hmm. and they actually uh, read through it. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's not, they didn't just simply look at the cover, look mm -hmm. at one page, and then throw it away. Mm -hmm. You know, right. they actually took the time to open it and look to see what each page had to offer. Well, so well actually, it's an avenue of communication that right. uh, uh, Roe is trying to get between the different generations. Right exactly. now, what, what, what I would say, uh, communication that you can think of that links the young people and the older people. I don't know of any. Hmm. Do you? I think that was the thing mm -hmm. that got you going because there is no link between the, mm -hmm. the, right. the, mm -hmm. the young people mm -hmm. because that's, that's where the problem comes. That's where yeah, the trouble yes. comes too. You exactly. See I mean? And if the future isn't interested you know, yeah. in what's upcoming, then you know, it's, it'll be a tough battle to win. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. It really is. Right. I, make, um, I, I have no illusions uh, that I um, am tapped into uh, what, what's happening with young people. Um, I don't think I've been considered a young person in a while, but I think it's important uh, for us to hear what young people have to say. Yeah, exactly. I think it's very important for us to um, take in and take seriously uh, the contributions they, that they, make, they, they seek to make. Whether or not those contributions come in the packages we like right. is not as relevant. Mm -hmm. It's the message that we kind of have to cut through all the, the, the noise within here. And the same thing vice versa. And I think that's just about communication, which comes to um, the business that I'm in in the first place. So I think it's very important to, uh, to hear those voices. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that with working with, Mr. S with, the, uh, with Amir Stoudemire, mm -hmm. one of the things that we have is a great give and take mm -hmm. opportunity. Mm -hmm. so that I introduce him to the structure that we have and then listen to what he may have right. to say about right. how to build it further. Right. Um, the fact that there is a structure in the first place mm -hmm. says something to him. Mm -hmm. The fact that he has something to say about making it better mm -hmm. says something to me. And that's an exchange, and that's the way I believe you can work together to build um, to with anything, yeah, whether, you know, right. whether it's a magazine or, or, or you know, a house or whatever yeah. it might be. Because uh, I, I like to suggest that uh, possibly in your uh, issues in the future, the young people would have a column and uh, maybe uh, Ms. Stoudemire or someone, and, and get the young people involved. Mm -hmm. and they, they have a voice and they have a sounding board and, and you would be the first sounding board. Because I, I, I don't think there's any publication that gives them that opportunity. The only thing they see in publication is negative thing. You know, exactly. crime, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. drugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> crime and drugs is plenty of that, mm -hmm. you know, and they have a voice and they see, that's the only thing they see. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, it is one uh, uh, young mm -hmm. lady, I think, uh, um, got a, a scholarship to Harvard uh, uh, last week and uh, it was another one that 
uh, have made uh, uh, mm -hmm. gains, you know, in the economic world, mm -hmm. and it, and the, you hear nothing about. Right, right, you, right, you, right, you, right. You don't hear anything about it, or or not, certainly not enough. Yeah, but yet we've always been dedicated to telling the story of young people. Um, um, young African Americans, young Latinos, um, young Filipinos in Prince mm -hmm. George's County, young students and, and young people in general mm -hmm. who are excelling academically, right. who are excelling uh, even professionally. Um, there are young entrepreneurs in Prince George's County, young scholars yeah, in exactly. Prince George's County, <clears throat> young athletes in Prince George's County who are excelling well beyond yeah. um, uh, the, the, the expectations. Right. And um, I think that one of the things that we've given platform to in the stuff section, for example, of the magazine, okay. or in the profile section of the magazine, is a, it's a regular part of our feature, right. not just an exception right. uh, when we find an exceptional Well, well that's uh, what individual. I was suggesting, maybe uh, a call be dedicated mm -hmm. for the, the voice of the uh, young people of Prince George County something like that, you know, that would be the first time that they really had an opportunity to get into it. Let, let them uh, get involved with, uh, uh, I used to have, uh, in church, you would have junior usher board, you know, mm -hmm, and things mm -hmm. like that, different positions. Same thing with the council. Mm -hmm. The council could develop a, a, a junior council, uh, something of that nature, where the young people would mm -hmm. be in involved with the uh, government. And most of them, and some of the older people, don't know the function, right. how the government functions. Mm -hmm. And, and, mm -hmm. and uh, this, this would be something, it'd be informational thing for the young people to get into the, uh, involved with the uh, running of the government. Most of them don't know. In fact, some of the uh, some of the adults some don't know. Some of the adults don't but, know. Yeah, <laughs> but the idea, it, w election is how important the election is. Mm -hmm their involvement in the mm -hmm. election. Mm -hmm. what, what the uh, young people involved in elections is like nil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. they, they don't get involved in the election unless one of their buddies or somebody like that is running, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe have, uh, uh, like I was saying, is a, a junior council mm -hmm. uh, or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, young people, some kind of training for young people coming out of school, and that would help the individuals uh, decide what to major in mm -hmm. because say, hey, I like that uh, type mm -hmm. of government or a park and plan to different agencies mm -hmm. have junior and just so the people know how important it is and how the government works. And how it works. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very important. Yeah. Very important. I, I think These are the people who decide the what you get and what you don't get. So right. you should right. learn. Okay, uh, Ro, you want to wrap it up there and just uh, tell us what you're going to do in the future. We appreciate you and Ms. Stoudemire uh, coming on the show and enlightening uh, the people about mm -hmm. uh, this. This publication been out there 10 years. A lot of you don't realize that. Mm -hmm. And the men have been struggling. So I, actually what we need, we need to keep something like, we need that communication line to strengthen mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, young people know about mm -hmm. voting they know how important it is about voting, how, how it is to volunteer. That's the other thing. Young people don't volunteer, you know. When you volunteer, that means you don't get any money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't understand that. And they stay away from volunteering right. because no money is involved. See? But that's your but civic duty. Some would duty. say they've been volunteering for a yeah, long but time and they didn't know it. that's your civic duty to volunteer. <laughs> And if I don't get anything over but getting young people to volunteer mm -hmm. in the uh, functions of, of the government, okay. Well, I think it's important that you mention, uh, we're very proud to come up on our 10th anniversary. Uh, 2015 is, uh, it will be 10 years for us. Mm -hmm. And we have some really, really interesting things in store for that celebration, that benchmark. Uh, we're very excited about our work with the county and the county government. Uh, we're excited about some of the private uh, yeah. supporters who've been part of this publication. So okay. I think that there will be a next tier type of development to look forward to. Okay. So I'll kind of keep that under wraps. Okay, I want to thank both of you, Ms. Stoudemire and, and uh, Ro here uh, uh, for being on the show. And once again, let's, let's, let's volunteer for something. Hey, anybody, I mean volunteer. When the last time you volunteered for anything? See you next time.